Hi guys, welcome back. Today I've got Angelica with me and I'm punishing her by making her choose only five makeup products as her favourites. So if you want to see what our top five makeup products ever are, just keep watching. I'm kind of like making sure that your makeup Do you want, do you want a filter? I don't care, that's fine. The other angle was just not working for anyone. <laughs> Okay, you show me yours first. It's like show me yours when you show me mine. <laughs> Alright, my um, first of five, in no particular order, is Face and Body, MAC Face and Body um, Foundation, which is just perfect for everyone. I feel like I've never done any makeup and used this and it's not been right. You can layer it and build on it. It doesn't move when it's on your skin, so you can wear it with clothing. It's just enough coverage and it's luminous. It's got the silicone base, so it gives it like a really luminous um, finish to the skin. So, so there's not a makeup artist I think I've ever worked with who doesn't have face and body. It's I, like the staple of everyone's yeah, kit. Almost like if you don't have it, you, you? you're not really a makeup artist. <laughs> Maybe. No judgment if you don't have no it. No judgment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I don't own this product. There you Which, go. Is that weird? Um, Yes. Yes. Because I always use it on I you. I know. I always use and it on you. Clearly, it looks great. And I okay. Right, yours. So I'll go with a MAC product first too. Good. So I'm obsessed with MAC Fix Plus. Okay, this stuff, there is just no replacement for this on the market. Agree. So my logic with mine were I wanted to choose products that there wasn't something else on the market that does the same thing. Agree. So that's that's the logic behind them. So MAC Fix Plus, I some people use it as a prep. I only use it post and nothing glues stuff onto your face like this stuff like if i want my makeup to last all day i cannot do it without this yeah and if you over powder or if you look a little bit done once you've um done your makeup which you can tend to do as soon as like it's finished i like my makeup worn in you just spray that and it refreshes it in a way that it looks like it's kind of been worn for a little bit and now they do the fragranced ones like as a continued those. thing because the, the regular one we can miss it it smells the regular one smells like chemical this smells nice it smells Open. Ooh, smells like rose see that smells oh, nice. nice so i like the rose and i like the coconut they're my two favorites oh i'd love coconut yeah and everyone's like you only need like three mists i'm like nobody needs three no mists. Yeah. i need 20 what are you talking yeah. about my next one is the <laughs> shake it make it look full bar i think it's a good sign that it's empty um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl, which is, um, I guess it kind of gets like touted as like a highlighter, but I mix it in with moisturizers, I mix it in with my foundations, um, I do it on the skin before putting anything on, and I then add after it's been done, so like the luminosity that's in Peony's face right now, has that just sort of stippled all over. So I just feel like this adds a really nice glow and luminosity without it looking highlighted. There's no reflex sense. in it. So I love this product because it mixes so well into other products. Perfect. I also have I love this it. and I use it in like body butter all over my body. It makes it like perfects. It literally does perfect because yeah. it diffuses the light. Amazing on the body. And so it's an amazing all round product and that color particularly because it yes. does, it doesn't have any like undertone to it. Yeah. It looks just like light. Yeah. It actually works well on all depths of um, skin color, mm. which is rare. Yeah. Okay. My next one. So this, makes Angelica laugh every time. She's like, she's like, it's the same size as your whole head. But there this is, is the funniest thing. no brush like the La Mer brush. This one, I'm just gonna be a little bit fancy, has my name even on it. <gasps> Stop. Which is so cute. Oh they my God. My name on. Um, but it, it just, it, I feel how soft it is in a minute. It is just, it, it is feels so amazing. So soft. And it looks amazing. And you I can like just bear, I'm not gonna mess with Angelica's beautiful makeup, but you can like barely pounce it on your face and it just distributes a really, really fine layer, layer of powder. And I feel like because it's so big, that's why you can do it just like tiny, tiny pats and you get the yeah. most sheer powder from it. And if you have sensitive skin, like a super soft brush is a game changer. Recently, a makeup artist used this on me as a foundation brush and that was incredible. And I've been experimenting with that since and I now need another one. Please send me another one so that I get one powder and one foundation one. I <laughs> but I just it. think it's the best. It looks amazing. If it, I wasn't so obsessed with it, I'd lend it to you. So I you feel can like, try it. <laughs> well, it's like, I definitely want to try this. I do love everything about it. And it's for you like two strokes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're done. I love the idea of that for a foundation brush, actually. Me. You. Next. Um, okay. 
I think this is going to be in most people's top. It's not ever. mine. <gasps> what? I know you say your bit first. <laughs> the YSL Touche Clay. Um, I well, I guess it doesn't really matter what color, whatever color. But it's. I'm not big on concealers. I just don't think they're necessary unless it's necessary. Does that make sense? Unless you've got super issues to conceal. Yeah, like really most people don't need a concealer. So I think for um, as far as, you know, like brightening, these are great. A light sort of color correcting um, depends on the shade that you get. And it's just light and creamy and like almost a little bit watery. So it's spreads easily. These are like all of the things I don't like about it. Oh, really? <laughs> I, no, so I love funny. everything. And it's that. on my face right now and it yeah. looks great, but I would never use it no i just it's super light but that is my like i like light skin like textures and nothing too sort of like heavy or cakey not that you do either but no. you your makeup always looks light anyway so i used this product when i was a teenager it was like the one when yeah. i was in my late teens early 20s and so much hype about it and i loved it and it was like the only concealer i had at that time and now i use it and i feel like it doesn't do anything enough for what i want it to do so it doesn't conceal enough because it's too sheer for me and then it also doesn't blend into the skin enough to be like invisible so it's neither being invisible enough nor then like it's buildable enough. Technique. It could be my technique. <laughs> it could definitely be my technique. But it just I don't know, I don't I never use it and I'm like, oh, this is a game yeah. changer. And there are so many competitors on the market to that now. When it first came out it was the only one. Yeah, definitely. And now it's there are so so many competitors and I just prefer other brands. Do you use of it? Yeah. Alright. Loads of people I know love it. It's uh, maybe it's my technique. I'm just crap, guys. Don't listen to what I have to say about anything. I've got concealer now too, so we can okay. leave oh, it off yes. that. So this it's is the one. Tom Ford concealing pen, which you guys have seen me use and talk about loads and loads and loads. Um, they change the color range, and I use a two now. I have a one and a two, so it depends whether yeah. I want like like you used on me yeah. today, whether you want a little bit pinky to color correct or not. Oh, mine's a bit messy, but you get this sort of sponge tip, and I just press it onto the skin and then blend it out. It blends you up really nicely on fingers. fingers. Yeah. And I just love that it's really buildable. If you let it kind of sit on the skin for a little bit, you get a much more full coverage. If you blend it straight away, it shears out and I can shear it out so that you can't see the edge of the makeup if I don't wear it. Yeah. I often wear it on its own and I don't wear any foundation and you can't see the edge of where the pigment of the makeup is onto your skin, which I love. And you don't have to use powder with it. You can, but you don't have to because it's not like a super oily yeah. concealer, which I love. It doesn't really go into the like your lines that much love nice. it nice still a fave how do you feel about it you just um, tested it on yeah your i did look it's just disappeared into my skin i haven't played with it but it feels nice and it's definitely different texture to very to different play. texture right yeah um, i'm gonna give you one of these i think i have a spare all right then maybe we'll do like if you don't it. like it give it back to me though because 100 percent. <laughs> Well, we'll do like a, um, what is it? A post-mortem. Oh, yes, a... yes, yes. I'll leave in the description box below what Angelica thought right, of it afterwards. Yeah, I'll leave to The professional viewpoint. I don't know why I just didn't make it for professional. <laughs> she I'm is a, a professional. professional. <laughs> okay, so my next one is a MAC Teddy Eye Coal. It's like a bronzy brown pencil. But it's that... kind of got some reflex. Yeah, energy. it does. I mean, it... When it's you look flat. at it, when you actually look at the, the actual tip, it does have a little bit of shine and it does have a little bit of a, but it's super like light and mm. subtle. Um, it's not metallic -y. Is, No, absolutely not. So this is a mate, like it's an eyeliner, obviously. Also putting it on just as an eyeshadow is amazing. And then you can just put a little bit of powder over the top to set it. It just does so many things and it seems to really just look nice and natural and soft on most eyes, most eye colors. Um, and you've got it on me today, no? I do have it on you today. I mean, this is for me like a must have in my kit. Okay. This over This black. is the one. This is the one. <laughs> okay. Do you so, have Teddy? No, I don't. You need Teddy. So I need face and body, and I, I need to write oh, down these you two need colors. Your I need face and body. Yeah. I'm gonna have to email you. You need Mac face and body for summer. <laughs> okay, so I'll go with an eye product too. I cheated and I have two because you have to have them together because they're mascaras. I'm allowed. These are the Sensei tubing mascara. You get a white base like that. And then the other is the volumizing mascara. And just nothing for me works as well as these two mascaras together. You put it on and you're like, 
instant fake lashes but natural no clumps no like crumbling at all it only comes off in hot water so you can go swimming it's not going to come off like i've been with kit kit can vouch for this in mexico a wave has hit my face and the mascara has not come off because it was cold water Oh, so wow. no like cleanser nothing kit's laughing because she remembers that moment so well so it really does have that staying power and i just love the the look of it on the eye you haven't tried this have you no and i know you love it and i've seen you wear it and apply it and i know you rave about it can i i haven't seen the white yeah. bit though can i ask a question what is the white bit like a thickening thing or it's is that the part like... that makes it prime and like um protect your lashes basically oh okay so that's giving you already like extra you can use that under any mascara it do right. you don't have to use it with this one and it would still create a tube so i'm so down with off. trying that because mascaras for me having hooded eyelids comes off i think people with hooded yeah. eyes would 100 percent like there is have a daily struggle no crumble like I okay my fifth but i'm gonna cheat too and i'm doing six <laughs> You're not allowed to cheat because yours didn't um, come together. Well, five and a half. Okay, five and, a half, five and a half. So my this is in a palette. It's this. This is the Nars Laguna blush bronzer, whatever everything. I love it because it's soft. It's super buildable. You can kind of even put a lot of product on a brush and put it on your face and it doesn't, you don't end up with this like ruddy, mm -hmm. you know, mark of that you then have to blend out and all the rest of it. I just feel like it's a really soft bronzing product that is yellow enough for my taste and for what I like to be sort of on the cheek. And then it goes, you know, like neck and chest area, I feel like. It, I mean, you're looking at me because I know it's not your favorite and I just, I don't, I want to hear why. <laughs> I'm sorry, my face is like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also no. I think it's in, <laughs> in the wake of all the, you know, contouring and highlight, all that stuff that is going on now is so strong that to me Laguna's just like, I don't know, just like a swim in the Greek ocean. It's just, no. you come out and that's the sun that hits you and you're... No. no? That sun never hits me, that Laguna oh. sun never hits me. I Tell love me NARS and I love like their highlighters, their blushes, I love their powder products. So my issue with it is not the formula at all. I love, I love their powders. Yeah. That colour in particular is just way too red on me. It just doesn't look... I mean, you're nodding, Translate. but I feel like you could put it on me and it would probably look fine. But me I putting put it on... on it looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> but me putting it on me, I've never choose that bronzer ever. It's just not the right tone for me. Yeah. That is like a red toned bronzer in comparison to the ones that I would use. Makes sense. It doesn't, you're nodding, being polite. All right, well that was on my list anyway. And when she told me before she was gonna do it, I was like, no, and she was like, <gasps> <laughs> Clutching my pearls, what do you mean no to Nas Laguna? <laughs> do you use it on yourself? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so my last product is this. This is the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder. That was my <laughs> That's heart. why she's creeping in, heart. because it was in her five, and then she pulled it out, and then she saw that I had it, and was like, we need to match on one. One match. Oh, I'm just going to give it a pack, because otherwise all the powder will come out the top. So this is a kind of white-based setting powder. I use this without fail every single day under my eyes to set my concealer um the only reason i wouldn't use it is if i'm not powdering my face at all it's on mm. my face right now and i've yeah. used it on my face there is no replacement for this in my mind this is yeah. the best at doing this job it's so finely milled it's not super matte it's but it's not got any reflex in either it just yeah. leaves the skin looking like skin it doesn't I look chalky never looks chalky it looks very white in the tub but it just isn't on the skin at all no i've I mean, never I've... had any flashback from it and i yeah. don't think you have either no but i think that is also like you really only need the tiniest amount you don't need to bake with it so i love it there's we could so have done many 2, more. Products. <gasps> yes. Also, we didn't do any skincare. This is just oh, yeah. makeup. makeup. And you are super into skincare. Yeah. And, like what ingredients are in things and like all of that stuff. So if you want to see us do our five favorite skincare, leave a comment below. Maybe and... six. <laughs> Kit uses about six serums before she even gets it. <laughs> oh yes. Else. Yes. So if you enjoyed it, guys, give us a thumbs up down below and um, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was like cheerleading. Bye. Bye. <laughs>